Hello YouTube and ECT, this is Jack Noble here vs New Edge, this is game 2. I won game 1, just open the good, you can check out game 1 that's also, I've got that video. Um, so he's just playing um, the Groove Junk Junk Synchro, um, Neos deck, I'm just running Gladiator Beast, with um, main compression and trap stun. I've also side decked into the Destroyer Chimera, um, in this matchup. Also, this is a war duel, and it's um, going to put it on Fight Club. Uh, you go Fight Club. You can check that out on. Just go to ETC Gentle Grounds, and you can see all that. There's also other videos for you to check out. I don't even know what active open does, but yeah. So yeah, he's going to make Android a Ellie. So he's probably thinking, no, he doesn't have Trap Dash he's probably even got Rogue Solomon. I'm thinking about setting a quest because if he doesn't commit to the field more, I'm kind of scared of a Miracle, so yeah, so... I can, um, if I top another guy boost, I can hook his Ellie, attack, attack, tag to Stay, Gazara, Trap Stun, whatever, and hope to pull set into the back row, but I'm just, just going to save it, just in case I end up glad it is. I also was just double checking the ruling about a quest attacking face down Ellie, but I was right, Ellie's activates at the start of the damage step, so the quest doesn't cause it. I was hesitant to um, chain Solomon because I'm thinking him probably might have a Solomon. It would either be a Solomon or a Rogue. If he does have Solomon, then I'm in a really bad position. Yeah, he does. So he's pretty much two for five. Me, he got soft three. He has four in hand, one big dude on the field, and my one card in hand. It's pretty lonely on my side. So, if he just pushes, I have to top Pest Tiger, Smash, and Will Bull to be driven. But also, I top Chariot then. Um, he sets a monster, so it gives me a chance to attack, attack, and then Milo. But I'm assuming he wouldn't set a monster unless he has a defensive card, like probably his HD prism, something like that. Here's Anime T. I probably would not have set my mo that monster. You m wants to at least have a Kai's Junk Synchro with that face down. He doesn't want to leave a small guy against. If I top the Gladi Beast, then. Oh, he has another back row, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm assuming he has something back row. Okay, so he doesn't have. Jessel, so he doesn't have Bombers, Trapper, he doesn't have Beacon Wing on the field, he doesn't have anything he could possibly drop off the field, because that's the only card at the field that I can bring in right now. Yeah. So he's got two tokens to my Milo. Um, he's going to throw a token at me. He has any monster, I don't think he does. Okay, sweet. So I'm not going to ask him if he's using this deck because that's probably his busy way. I have chariot, so I just wait for him to use it. I just say, okay, you can use it by chariot. Um, if I didn't have chariot, then I would ask him, are you using the fest? And try to bluff that I have chariot. Um, I did do this against a gadget deck in a war duel against Amber on ETC, and it did win me the game.
because later on she told Fortress that she didn't have a car with her, she sung her grave or, um, gadget, sorry, at search, or she could have sung it for the first time at the beginning, um, because the back roads were still blocked, which meant she had to come to this position, so I'm going to go with, um, just going to this guy, he's blocked, because I'm like 99% sure it's a block now, because he didn't detect, he didn't prevent my Bribeers attacking whilst playing one attack over his Bambi, so I could tag him in my way, and he obviously would have if he had it, so you can go for kills with that. Thought about tagging on Quarry, but then I realised I'm going to go to Darius, go into Xaris, that way A, next turn I can um, start a chariot loop and get that going because that gives you in such a good position. Also, um, if he has another Degris or Count Synchro, he can get Android attack over my um, Laquire, uh, Bastari, and then I'm left with Laquire against his Degrid, and I have to top test or smash. This way, I can at least, I don't need to top test or smash, I can just top any Gladiators and just see Xaris into it, and then tag. And if he has Degrid, then he's just going to make Black Rose and probably blow up the field, or attack over my Bastari, and then yeah, so doing that was the correct play, I think. I believe so, anyway. So he's played Future Fusion, I'm assuming he wants to play Future Fusion for a Pot of Aberrant, so I'm going to guess he's got playing, yeah, that Miracle Fusion. Okay, so that's game, because um, he piles my Gazaras, gains an extra 1200, putting him on 3-4 to my 1-2, and that's game. So yeah, it stands at 1-0. Game 3 is also on my YouTube, check that out, also submit any comments on misplays, mistakes, things that you would have done or, you, or that I didn't, anything to improve me, this is what this whole thing's about, and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.